Now we're going to check out uh, an intro lick for Blood and Ice that I use live. This is a string skipping arpeggio that fits the left hand quite nicely because of the fact that we're in open tuning. Uh, it is uh, open C we're in, C, G, C, G, C, E. skipping a string uh, and then after you skip two you know you, you just have to go to the next one there so check this out so practice that on its own first then you can uh, do this this uh, this lick is all alternate picking down up down up with the right hand um, because we're tuned in open C, you'll hear, you'll hear some buzzing because um, uh, I'm tuned so low, so the string is uh, quite loose. So you're going to hear some of that, but still don't be afraid to put volume into it. When playing this uh, alternate picking section, uh, if you're an electric player, the chances are the attack will be a little bit weaker, sort of like so. Um, try to put a little more into it. I'm using a, uh, or a thicker pick right now. These are called uh, Wiegand picks. It's pretty thick, has a lot of weight to it. So to get the, the picking technique down, it's just a matter of hours. Uh, the right hand especially, uh, it's said that it's the, the last thing to come together and the first thing to go when you stop practicing. So it takes a while to get it together, but you can lose it quickly if you don't uh, keep the practice up. down, and then two ups, like so. And as you can see, I'm um, in a way sweeping the uh, first two notes. Take a look at that. First part. Second part. Those are just good exercises for alternate picking, and uh, don't forget to um, increase the volume of your pick attack. Uh, that's for electric players who want to, you know, play like an acoustic. It's important to uh, put more strength into your picking technique.